As well as speaking with our Lord, Saint Gemma was able to see her guardian angel and even touch him, as if he were a being of this world. She spoke with him as with a friend. Once, Saint Gemma's guardian angel ordered her to write down the following. Remember, daughter, he said, that whoever truly loves Jesus speaks little and bears all things. I command you, on behalf of Jesus, to always refrain from giving your own opinion unless it is asked, always to prefer silence to upholding your own views. Remember to guard your eyes and be assured that the eyes that are mortified shall behold the beauties of heaven. Sometimes Saint Gemma's guardian angel knelt beside her as she prayed. They recited vocal prayers or psalms together and prayed the verses alternately. If they were praying aspirations or ejaculatory prayers, they rivaled one another as to which would say them more ardently and with the most love. Jesus showed his great pleasure at this. Saint Gemma often gave her guardian angel tasks and told him to take particular matters before the throne of God. Saint Gemma's angel would instruct her and inspire her with holy meditations. Look, he once exclaimed, at what Jesus has suffered for men. Consider one by one these wounds. It is love that has opened them all. See how deplorable sin is, since to expiate it, so much pain and so much love have been necessary. Once, Saint Gemma was sitting at the family dinner table with some guests and heard someone blaspheme the holy name of God. As soon as she heard it, she fainted with horror. She would have fallen and hit her head against the ground, but her guardian angel came to her side and helped her. Another time, when Saint Gemma had stayed late at church because she had been speaking with Jesus truly present in the tabernacle, her guardian angel came to call her and accompanied her home 